Namaste, Professor Baksin. Uh, it is not every day that I'm asked to introduce guest speakers. It happens once in a while. I must admit that when I saw Professor Bangkwadeo Motoso for the very first time, I had no idea that he's a professor. I just saw the man, handsome man, saying Yebo Gogo on television. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Omotoso has written fiction, has written plays, and the one of his novels is The Combat. I must also add this bit that you did not include in your bio, Prof, that in Mushomi, the journal published in the Soto, you made a very interesting point that writers, specifically African writers, must have political commitment. And I think it's quite an important thing and we need to debate the special in time like this. Professor Bampolo Motoso, ladies and gentlemen, came to live and work in South Africa in 1992 after a career of university teaching and acting in Nigeria. He holds a PhD in contemporary Arabic theatre and cinema but his writings in literary criticism, fiction and non-fiction, are mainly in English language. He has translated long narrative English poems into Yoruba, his mother tongue, the latest being the Pied Piper of Hamelin, published serially early this year in a weekly Yoruba newspaper. He lives in his hometown, Akure, in southwest Nigeria, where he teaches at Elizade University in the state of Ondo, in Nigeria. Presently, he's working on an autobiography covering his life and work in Nigeria and South Africa, tentatively entitled Witness to Possibilities. Because Professor Motoso has very bright children, I'm going to add that he is a father of award-winning novelist Yawande Motoso and award-winning filmmaker Akino Motoso. The respondent, ladies and gentlemen, started his journey with Sol Plaki formally in 1973 when he was doing his PhD. He has been with Sol Plaki for over 40 years. <laughs> As a result, he's the world authority on Sol Plaki, Dr. Brian Whelan. He's a former publisher, has PhD from the University of London. He's currently your honorary research associate at the Institute for the Study of English in Africa at Rhodes University. He has written widely on Sol Plaki and other aspects of 19th and 20th century South African history and literature. His two most recent books are Sol Plaki's Native Life in South Africa, which he co-edited with Jeanette Remington and Professor Becky Peterson, published by Vets University Press in 2016. That book went on to win the Human and Social Sciences Award in 2018 for Best Nonfiction Edited Volume. His latest work is a 700-page biography titled Sol Plaki, A Life of Solomon Tekisho Plaki, 1876 to 1932, published by Jakana this year. Thank you, Prof. Thank you.